kwenye screen na ukiacha bali ya jina langu pia uh, topic ya leo inasema get a new mind for your success kwa wale ambao ni, ni watu wa dini sana hasa dini za Kristo wanasema inabidi uokoke eh uwe na bwana na nini sasa kama kweli wewe huko unanisikia na unataka kufanikiwa kwenye maisha yako na hapo ulipo ujaweza kuona njia ya kutokea hao bado you are not okay na hicho unachokipata unahitaji uingize software mpya kichwani kwako ili vitu viweze kufunguka chochote unachokitaka na kama hujakiona bado ni vizuri ukaweza kutafuta njia nyingine mbadala ambayo itakusaidia kuweza kupata a new mind ya hicho kitu ambacho unakifanya sasa bahati mbaya wengi tumesoma viuo hivi ambavyo tu, hatutaki kusaidia na kuingiza knowledge mpya wote mnaonisikia hapa na, na imani mnavyo vieti whether darasa la pili kwa darasa la saba, form 4 form 6 vyo vikuu phd whatever you name it sasa tunafikiri tunajua tunafikiri tunajua ndio maana labda ulisoma biashara ukasema naweza nikafanya biashara sasa ni wangapi wana degree za biashara na biashara zienge na hata kama wamefanya wengi wana fail that's the reality kwa hiyo usishangae kuona yanapotokea ina ni kwa sababu wanakuwa hawana mind mpya ya biashara umesoma chuoni mathiore kuhusu biashara lakini ni reality hujawahi kufanya chochote mtaani so when it comes huku mtaani inakuwa ni shida kwa hiyo nakuombeni sana ninyi mnaonisikiliza hapa na kama kweli you are struggling inabidi hicho uko nacho ukiachie uingize knowledge nyingine mpya na huu ndio uhalisia baadhi yenu mmeajiriwa baadhi yenu mnatafuta kazi this is the reality of life all over the world watu walioajiriwa wako rundo la watu wanatafuta jinsi gani ya kuweza kusurvive. Kwa wanaenda kuuza muda wao asubuhi jioni wanarudi that's the reality. Kwa wapo wanaenda na magari, wapo wanaotembea that's the end of the day. Wewe amka kesho alfajiri barabara yoyote mjini hapa. Kaangalie kuna watu wanaenda makazini kwa kutembea. Na si hivyo tu, maisha yanakuwa ni magumu sana. Na kiasi kwamba wako programmed. Shuleni kuna mtu wa kwenda break kuna muda wa kwenda siri lunch kuna muda wa kwenda kufanyaje is the same na maofisini wana muda wa lunch na wakienda lunch wanaenda na vitambulisho wanavaa vitambulisho vifuani ili wasipotee zamani manamba wale waliokuwa watumwa walikuwa nao na, au magerezani wanapewa vitambulisho pia so it's the same sasa wakati mwingine hicho wanachokifanyia kazi maana wanauza muda ili wapate kipato sasa sometimes wanaanza kugoma sasa wanaanza kugoma wanafanya maandamano Ezifu vitabu vya dini vimeandika kwamba ukitaka kipato kikubwa inabidi ugome. Kwa hiyo hii ndio uhalisia unapokuwa una knowledge ya kutosha na maisha yanavyokwenda duniani hapa unatafuta njia ya nguvu ya kuweza kupata mahitaji yako and it doesn't work that way. Kwa nini mnaonisikiliza hapa kama ndio njia umeifuata hiyo una vieti umekomaa navyo si GPA ya wapi somewhere you will get stuck. Na mwisho wa siku utasurvive tu. Kwa hiyo unachokuomba, nachokuomba hapa ni kwamba unahitaji upate kitu cha tofauti sasa. Kitu cha tofauti ambacho kitakusaidia kuweka software mpya kwenye kichwa chako. Hii ya kusema najua 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 na vieti it won't help you. Don't let your ego hijack your great great life. Mnakuwa kama lijogo fulani hivi. Unajua kuwa lijogo mahala vingine vyote ni vidogo basi wewe ndo mbabe kuwa na GPA kubwa, kuwa na degree ya mlimani, si degree ya Oxford University, Stanford, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Na kuna watu waliwahi kufanya research wanasema MBA thamani yake ni minus dola laki mbili na nusu minus. Sasa minus dola laki mbili na nusu ni kama milioni mia sita minus. Na kuna kampuni sasa hivi hata waangalie vitu vyako, wanaangalia tu ni vitu gani ambavyo wana kitu wanaita uh, wanaita nini wanaita it's not only soft skills lakini na, kuna vitu ambavyo Mungu kila mtu kampa is something you don't beat ufundishwe shuleni wala darasani wala kokote ni wewe tu jinsi ya kudeal na watu how do you deal with people sasa hizo ndo zinazofanya kwanza kwa sasa sasa but, but mbaya tulio wengi hivi vitu tunakuwa tufahamu kwa mimi leo najaribu tukukusaidia kwamba unapoingiza mind mpya kichwani kwako 
unapoingiza software ya mpya vitu vitakuja kubadilika wala ambao ni wakristo mnafahamu kabisa Mwenyezi Mungu ka, anasema nini huko kinachotakiwa hapa ni kujaribu kutafuta ni kitu gani Mungu amekupa ndani mwako sio vyetu konavyo kila mtu ana vyeti hapa vya kuzaliwa si cha ndui si cha ubarikio cha ubatizo si cha vyote hivyo ni makaratasi marakati find what is god has given you inside of you hii ndio inakupa shida hapa sasa haifundishwi shuleni wala wazazi wako hawajui what is inside of you it's only you and god mimi hata sijui ni kipi kiko ndani mwako mimi naizungumza najijua what is inside of me na naishi what god gave me as a gift kwa hiyo itafute hiyo sasa nataka ni kuonyeshe baadhi nitakuonyesha hapa baadhi ya watu ambao wameweza kujitambua mapema na kuweza kutumia gift zao ambazo Mwenyezi Mungu amewapa. Kwa na wewe na kuchallenge, na kuchallenge ujaribu kuitafuta kwa sababu usipoitafuta utahangaika sana. Utaenda sui wapi, utaingia siasa, hakuna chochote, utaenda si utaolewa, si utaoa, utaenda nje ya Tanzania, still you be struggling unless utafute what is inside of you. Kitu gani Mwenyezi Mungu amekupa? kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ameficha ndani mwako hiyo ndio itaweza kukusaidia wakati anatoa hayo kuna watu kuna watu watakubeza watakubeza watu hiyo naomba uelewe kabisa wakati unajitafuta kuna watu watakubeza kumbuka hawakuwepo wakati Mwenyezi Mungu anakutengeneza kwa hiyo ni, ni is part of the day mtume Muhammad watu walimkejeri Yesu watu walimkejeri hata Mwenyezi Mungu Adam na Eva walimkejeri sembuse wewe Kuna mambo uelewe kabisa kwamba the time will come utakapokuwa umejitafuta watu watakuchallenge watakucheka na utajikuta na baki mwenyewe. Sasa ili tuweze kuelewana sasa naomba nikupeni mfano tu wa huyu kijana mnayemuona hapa. Koza ana miaka 49 sasa. Kwa elimu ya Tanzania hapa naweza nikakwambia alimaliza tu form 4. Kule Marekani wanaita ni high school. Sasa mimi nimezaliwa kabla ya yeye. Think about that. Watu wangapi wamezaliwa mwaka 1969 ndio wamezaliwa huyu bwana lakini hana chat China yoyote ukiache hiyo form 4 yake aloimaliza huko Marekani. Lakini sasa hivi ni ni icon wa dunia. Ye ni rapper, okay, songwriter, record producer, entrepreneur na vitu vingine chungu zima anafanya. Kwa hiyo ana kampuni zake nyingi anazohudili nazo. Anaheshimika duniani. Yeye ni mwanamuziki tajiri namba mbili duniani ukiacha mmoja anaitwa Puff Daddy. Thamani yake huyu bwana kwa utajiri ni dola milioni tisa mpaka kufikia mwaka jana Disemba huo ndio ulikuwa utajiri wake. Kwa hiyo nataka ni kuonyeshe kwamba ukitafuta kipaji chako hamna mtu anaweza kakustopisha nobody is only god. Sasa hana magic yoyote ako nayo huyu bwana ni kwamba alijitafuta mapema. Alianza kuimba mziki akiwa na miaka 12. Think about that. Na watu walikuwa wanamcheka sauti yake wa kuipenda na nini yeye akaendelea hivyo hivyo akaendelea hivyo hivyo Think about that leo yuko wapi sasa Baadhi yenu mna sura nzuri kuliko yeye Angalii sura Mwenyezi Mungu haangalii sura sasa wewe una unahangaika unanyosha pua unafanyaje it won't help you Nataka tu tukuonyeshe uone vitu vinavyofanyika Yeye anamiliki private jet Mbali na vitu vingine vyote ako navyo anamiliki private jet Private jet ambayo hajanunua yeye sasa. Naomba mnisikilize wadada vizuri. Hii private jet hajanunua yeye, kanunuliwa na mke wake. Amenunuliwa na Beyonce. Beyonce kanunua hii kama zawadi yake ya kuwa baba mwema. Ameinunua hii kwa dola milioni 40. Kwa hela za Tanzania kwa leo ni sawa na bilioni 96. 96 bilioni. Bilioni na maziro 9. Naomba uhesabu hapo. Kwa this is a private jet kanunuliwa na mke wake. Sasa nyie wa dada wengi hapa unataka mume wako akunulie vitsi, si boyfriend akunulie hiki, akunulie simu siku akikuacha na kunyang'anya simu. Huyu mdada kamnunulia mme wake thamani ya dola milioni 40. I want you to understand this. Kwa hiyo you can see how how these things works. Anyway, nachotaka ujifunze hapa There was a reason ni kwa nini amemnunulia hiyo hiyo private jet. Tukoze wana watoto watatu inawasaidia ku move around. Wana move sana uh, around wana, wana nyumba ziko tofauti tofauti. Sasa hii nyumba unaiona ndo nyumba yao sasa. This is their dream house. 
imewakosti dola milioni 88. Kwa era za Tanzania ni sawa na bilioni mbili na moja. Kabla hawajaingia kwenye hii nyumba walikuwa wamepanga. Baadhi yenu mmepanga. Kulipa tu kodi ya mwezi 1060 1070 na kutoa kamasi. Wao walo, nyumba waliokuwa wamepanga walikuwa wanalipa kwa mwezi dola laki nne. Dola laki nne ni takriban milioni tisa na kitu. Ndio walikuwa wanalipa kwa mwezi. Walikaa tumboni sawa na sisi. Think about that. Anyway, kwa hiyo nataka tu nikuchallenge kwamba unapo decide kuweza kujua unafanyaje. Mungu anaopa na kila kitu. Hii nyumba uliyoiona hapa wao wame wame wame, 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 wame toa hela down payment na nyingine wanalipa kidogo kidogo. Wanalipa wanalipa wamenunua nyumba hii miaono two years ago. Kwa hiyo wanalipa dola laki tatu na kumi na tisa kila mwezi kwa miezi kwa miaka 30 ijayo. Maana yake ni nini? Kwa hela za Tanzania wanalipa milioni na sita na, na ushare kila mwezi. Hawa ni vijana tu, mimi nawazidi umri na wengine pia mnawazidi umri hawa. Inakuwaje sasa? So I want you to understand this. Kwa hiyo jeuri ya kununua hiyo nyumba, alafu wanalipa hizo dola laki tatu na ngapi, wana uhakika gani kwamba atakuwa nazo? Sasa I want you to think about it. Kidogo ngoja nikupeleke kwenye nyumba ya uweze kupata hasira kidogo. Nyumba hiyo iko Los Angeles kule. Na watu wamewashangaa wamewezaje kununua hii nyumba. Of course they have the money. Eh, mke tu, mke tu peke yake anaweza ka maintain maisha yao anayoishi. Kipato chao ni kikubwa. Mke akifanya tu akirudi ana dola milioni 4. Tu watu. Kwa hiyo you need to understand this. Mke alianza of course kuimba akiwa na miaka takriban saba. Think about that. Mume alianza na miaka 12 kuimba wakati yeye alianza na miaka saba. Sisi hapa wazada hawajui hata una, una kipaji gani. Anyway, this is the house. I'm trying to take you through uweze kuona na kukasirika. Ni nyumba kubwa 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 sana. Anyway, hiyo ni maisha yao, siyo ya kwa na waza nini. E, kitanda na godolo au godolo chini au mkeka, box whatever. Tunaishi mara moja duniani hapa, wanaishi maisha wanayoyataka. Na hii yote ni kwa sababu wamejitafuta mapema. Vio vinafunguliwa kwa remote. Akibonyeza vio vinafunguka na ni bullet proof. Bullet proof. Hamna lisasi na penyeza hapo. So you can understand kwa nini inauzwa kwa bei hiyo. Anyway, This is JZ na nitaka tunikuweke sawa uwezi kujua kwamba kweli inawezekana. Ni ambao bado mko single basi jiandae kwenda kumnulia mume wako hicho ambacho utaweza kumnunulia na kuweza kuona ambavyo anaweza kawa. Mbali na hiyo huyu Beyonce huyu she's a really serious mother. Alimnunulia zawadi baada ya kuwa amepata ame, ame mtoto wake wa kwanza akamnulia zawadi alinunulia gari inaitwa Bukati alinunua kwa dola milioni mbili akampa zawadi kwa hiyo ndege ilikuwa ni zawadi ya pili kwa kuwa baba mzuri, baba mwema kwa kutake responsibility za nyumbani. Sasa baba zetu sisi wa Swahili hapa. Anyway, that is was uh, JZ na the issue tu ni kwamba hebu jaribu kujiangalia wewe mwenyewe. Jaribu kujiangalia ni kitu gani kinakurudisha nyuma. Eh? Nini kinakurudisha nyuma? Ni kwa sababu huko Tanzania, ni kwa sababu hivyo vyetu uko navyo. What is holding you back? Jaribu kutafuta kwa mimi najaribu tu kukusaidia hapa uweze ku open up na kuweza kuona ni vitu gani ufanye. Kwa hiyo swala hapa sio kwamba si kuna kifo, si kuna vitu gani, no find your purpose. Find your purpose. Tafuta ni nini Mungu amekupa huko ndani na maisha yako yatabadilika. Na you need to get a new software. Ukimwona hivyo yeye anaweza kufanya vitu vyote hivyo akina Beyonce anaweza kufanya, kuna vitu wame go through a lot. Wanafanya kazi sana, usione hivyo. Na kupeleka kwa mtu mwingine uh, uweze kujifunza, upate hasira. Huyu ni mtu mzima. Ah, uh, kozi ni marehemu sasa, lakini huyu ndo founder wa zile gari zinaitwa Ford. Alipata tabu mwanzoni wakati anaanza kutengeneza hizi gari. Wamemshtaki several times. Kisa tu walisema gari anazotengeneza ikitembea sima ile 20, roho ya binadamu itaruka atakufa, kwa hiyo wamzuie. Walikuwa namuuliza vile vyuma alivyoweka vina strength kiasi gani ku withstand weight na kwamba joto likiwa kali sigari yomo vitayeyuka watatondoka hao kuishia hapo mpaka kuna mahala walienda kumshtaki alishindwa eti kujibu tano mara tano mara ngapi ilikuwa 25 mara 25 alishindwa kujibu kwamba ni 125 lakini yeye alikuwa na wapamba aliyokuwa anatembea nao 
kwa aliwauliza akatoa jibu yule mwendesha mashtaka akasema na huyo bwana hajasoma akasema mimi sihitaji kuweka vitu kichwani naweka vitu kichwani ambavyo wengine hawawezi kufanya moyo visionary kwa hiyo kama kuna watu wana majibu nayo i'm paying these people to give me all the answers kwa hiyo swala sio kukalili umeweka makorokoro gani huko you need people alijua ni jinsi gani ya privilege alikuwa anatumia nguvu ya watu wengine kwa cha msingi tu hapa ni wewe uweze kujua na plan sasa hii ndio ilikuwa gari yake ya mwanzo na ndio ilibadilisha marekani hii gari this gari alianza kutengeneza zamani zilikuwa zinaitwa Model T kwa well, want you to take you through uweze kuona gari ambazo zimekuwa transformed dunia inabadilika sisi hatubadiliki think about that ukienda kwenye vyo vyetu ukienda utakuta not say ndo hizo zo vya maka 80 ndo hizo hizo references zile zile hebu niambie wakati dunia inabadilika very fast kwa nataka ni kuonyeshe uone uh, chanzo cha hiyo modo T na sasa imekuwaje sasa ndo magari mengine mnayoona barabarani huko mnayo maford Tanzania hapa mnayoona magari makubwa kubwa lakini zimetoka huko it was a process flani kwa vitu vinakuwa vinabadilika 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 bahati mbaya sisi hapa hatubadiliki so this is just to take you through uweze kuona ambavyo lazima kitu flani kianze baadaye watu wanaboresha 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 kwa hizi ni gari ambazo kuna baadhi ya watu bado wanazo na nyingine haziko kabisa na of course Nyerere pia alikuwa nazo hizi gari ukienda kwenye kwenye watu mizi ya mpalo unaweza kukuta hizi gari za zamani zamani zipo watu wanazo wanazitunza kwa nataka tu uone kwamba when you decide to change everything will change for you sasa watu kuchenja wataki wamezoea wamezoea wanasema vya mavingi hatutaki hatutaki vitu gani hatutaki kila hatutaki kile you see now eh unakoma navyo kwa nini kazi hamna kwa nini wakenya wanachukua kazi zetu kwa nini wachina wako hapa na mambo kama hayo kwa nini wa mama siku hizi nao wanapewa haki sawa na wanaume so you need to understand how the world is being transformed na mwisho wa siku vitu vina change vitu vina change vitu vina change kwa hiyo nitaka tu nikupitishe through uweze kuona fodi zilikotoka na ziko wapi sasa na wewe unayo nafasi hiyo pia ya kuweza kujifunza na kubadilika and once you change kila kitu chako kita change. Kwa hiyo anasema yeye huyu bwana Henry Ford anasema angewauliza wateja wake wanataka nini, wangemwambia kwamba wanataka pozi ambayo inaenda fast. You see now? Kwa hiyo wewe ndio unayo nafasi ya kuweza kujua unataka nini. Sio wazazi wako, sio mmeo, sio boyfriend, you have to decide what do you want. Naomba walimu wako si chuo chako kisidetermine what you want. Na kupeleka kwa mtu mwingine uweze kuona uh, kuna kitabu hiki sio wangapi tumekisoma wala ambao mnataka kuinvest kwenye ma, 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 ma stock market you need to read this book hiki kitabu ndio kiliweza kubadilisha maisha ya mtu anaitwa Warren Buffett Warren Buffett huyu kwa sasa ni tajiri namba 3 namba 3 namba 4 duniani na ndio yeye peke yake ameweza kutengeneza hela nyingi kwa kuinvest kwenye stock market hajawahi kufungua kampuni hata moja ananunua kampuni za watu you need to understand this kwa Tanzania ukiwauliza eh, siweza kufanya biashara sina mtaji kumbe kichwa chako tu kwa hiyo amesoma hichi kitabu siku nyingi na ndo kilichomsaidia ndicho anachosema hapa kilimsaidia kuweza kujua ni jinsi gani anunue na ni jinsi gani asinunue lakini alileni lesson alipata shida huyu alianza kufanya biashara akiwa na miaka sita huko alikuwa anauza soda anachukua soda siku kwa babu yake anauza he was making money by age 12 tayari ameshanunua stock ana hisa zake age 12 hebu niambie sisi hapa hey, Mungu wangu atusaidie anyway mimi na challenge ni tu kwamba when you ukiamua kubadilika ukaanza kuingiza vitu vya tofauti kichwani vitu vitabadilika sasa nataka tu nitoe extraction ndogo kutokana na kitabu hicho da alichokisoma huyu bwana Warren Buffett kitabu kinaeleza vitu viwili vya msingi kinaeleza tofauti ya investment na speculation naomba muelewe hapo maana wengi mnatanga tanga tu pia muelewi wapi ni investment na ni wapi ni speculation kitabu kinasema investment ni kitu ambacho ume, ume, umefanyia analysis kwanza kama kuna kampuni iko hapo unataka kuinvest unaenda kufanya analysis na kama unataka kuwekeza hela zako it means principle yako haitapotea na sio kupotea tu peke yake lakini pia lazima kuwe na returns ya kueleweka. Sasa kama there is no hiyo returns haiko ya kueleweka, principle yako iko salama, 
Angalia ni mabanki yanavyokopesha pesa. Hawakukopeshi mpaka wana uhakika kwamba ila zao hazitapotea na kuna faida ndivyo benki wanachofanya. Kwa kama kuna operation yoyote ambayo haikizi hiyo vigezo hiyo ni speculative. Asikufuate mtu yote na kudanganya okay, kwa hiyo napata hela, unapata hela, naomba ufanye analysis. Kama unaenda tu kwa sababu ya kelele kuna hela, that is ni gambling. That is gambling. Na ndio maana watanzania wengi wanapoteza hela. Kwa leo unajaribu kukusaidieni mjitambue. Kitabu kinaenda fadha, kinazungumzia kwamba kuna principles tatu ukitaka kununua kampuni cha kwanza lazima ufanye fundamental analysis kampuni ni ya nani wamekuepo kwa muda gani wana operate kwa faida miaka mitano kumi watakuepo vitu wanavyoviuza ni nini you need to understand that na si hivyo tu pia kwamba unaweka investment zako same tofauti tofauti don't put all your eggs in one basket ndivyo anachokizungumza na si hivyo tu pia lazima kuwe na mrejesho kwamba kuwe na steady returns hela zinarudi ulizo invest unapata zaidi hizo ndo principles tatu ziko kwenye kitabu sio wote mtaenda kukutafuta na jaribu kukusaidieni mjitambue sasa watu hivi vitu vyote viko nje kabisa watu wanakomana GPA wanakomana CPA nakwambia hapo Mungu atusaidie sasa si hivyo tu pia nakupeni darasa la bure hapa nakupeni darasa la bure kuna kitu kinaitwa inflation. Inflation ni maana yake ni kuongezeka kwa bei na kuporomoka kwa purchasing power ya pesa uko nazo. Sasa watu wengi amuelewe mnaenda tu mnajiwekeza. Sasa angalieni wafanyakazi wetu hawa. E, tangu Mheshimiwa Magufuli ameingia madarakani hawajapandishwa mshahara. Mshahara ni ile ile maisha yamekuwa magumu, vitu ni vimepanda huko, alafu wao anakwambia napata milioni, napata mili moja na nusu. Napata buku, si napata ngapi? Sasa nataka nikusaidie. Hapa kwetu wametuzuia kutumia uh, easy record za serikali. Kwa hiyo mimi nimeogopa pia usije kunitaka macho hapa. Bado napenda maisha yangu. Kwa hiyo nimejaribu kutafuta nataka mjifunze inflation ni kitu gani. Just just a little bit. Kwa sijatumia nani za hapa Tanzania, nimeenda kutafuta za Marekani. Kwa mwaka 2018, inflation rate ya Marekani ilikuwa 2.9, eh? It's like minus 2.9. Na ukienda kwenye mabanki savings account interest yake ilikuwa ni kama 0.1%. Kwa mfano mtu alikuwa na dola 1000. Okay, ame deposit dola 1000 benki kwa sababu ya inflation ya 2.9% ina maana pesa zake thamani yake ya purchasing power sio dola 1000 ni dola 9720. So huu mtu ana lose hela. He is losing money kwa ku deposit hela zake benki. Kwa ni vizuri mkaweza kujua hapa. So investment success is measured not just by what you make but by how much you keep after inflation. Sasa nyinyi mnaposema mshahara milioni mbili umefactor in inflation. Yaani hivi ni vitu ambavyo wengi hamfahamu. Mimi nakusaidieni muweze kujua ili uweze kujua una invest wapi. Sasa huyu bwana anatupa ushauri wa bure hapa. Anatupa ushauri wa bure. Kama unataka kweli kubadilika na uinvest kwenye mouse kama yeye na zaidi ya yeye there are some lessons hapa naweza kukupa kwamba kama kweli unataka kufanikiwa hakikisha unatafuta kitu unachokipenda wewe ufanye sio kwa sababu ya mshahara oh tiare wanalipa benki kuu wanalipa pale kuna mjomba wangu find your passion sasa kama una kampuni tafuta watu ambao wanajitambua usizoe tu kwa sababu mtoto wa mjomba mtoto wa nani wataenda kuad nini kwenye kampuni yako okay ni vizuri pia ukao anasema don't care what other think watakusema nishakueleza viongozi wa dini walibezo watakubeza tuna wewe. Kingine namba 4 anasema read 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 soma soma maana yake ingiza software kichwani kwako na yeye ndiye imemsaidia na anavyozungumza na ninyi hapa anatumia 80% of his time kwa kusoma. Ukiacha hiyo ukiacha hiyo pia anafanya vitu chungu zima. Anyway that is just him. Nadhani umeweza kupata picha chochote hapo. Kitu kingine ambacho nataka nikusaidie Tafuteni vitabu vikusaidieni huko soma kusoma maana yake tunaingiza software tafuta watu ambao wako well educated au wako ahead of you ndio wewe marafiki zako wanasema kutembea na mwizi unakuwa mwizi wakusaidie uweze kujitambua sawa sawa kwa kusoma 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 kuna watu mko allergic na kusoma vitu vitabu audio ziko za kutosha unaweza ukadownload ukajifunza kama ndo maisha ya design hiyo unayataka na kupeleka kwa mtu mwingine ndo tajiri namba moja duniani sasa anaitwa Jeff Bezos. Huyu alianza na mtaji wa dola 3000 alipewa na babake wa Kambo. 
eh miaka 22 baadaye tajiri namba moja duniani think about that alianzisha kampuni ya vitabu watu wakawa na mcheka eh wamesamea hiki itakufa wakawa naita amazon dot bomb leo yuko hapa people talk shit about you sasa wengi amjitambui ndio maana mnapata tabu yeye yeah, na principles anazitumia anasema walikuwa na vitu vitatu wanavitumia hapo kwa miaka 18 na hiyo ni ku put the customer first ndio ilikuwa namba moja. namba mbili ni ku invest na namba tatu, usubirie okay lazima u invest na uhakikishe unakuwa na kipe muda jamani hata mbuyu anasema ulianza kama mchicha baadaye kwa yeye as we speak ha ameweza kufanya anavyovifanya na bado japo ame divorce recently hapa lakini bado bado ni tajiri namba moja duniani kwa hiyo cha msingi hapa yeye yeah, anachoangalia customer 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 customers wana, wanafundishwa viwone His creativity yake anasema we don't make money when we sell things yeye mnaenda kuuliza na wewe unipate hela anasema we make money when we help customers make purchase decision huyo ni Jeff Bezos. Anyway, sasa unafanyaje wewe? Wewe unainisikiliza hapa. Unachagua. Unataka utafute kazi, ustruggle kama unavyoenda kustruggle, baba yako amestruggle, mama yako amestruggle, baba amestruggle, wanasubiri kokoto or you want to start a business. Kuna tofauti kubwa ya faida na just posho, posho mshahara. Kwa hiyo ni vizuri ukajua kwamba ukitaka kutengeneza fortune inabidi utafute jinsi ya kufungua biashara yako. Sasa biashara ipi? Ya tikiti maji, biashara ya duka, supermarket, kuuza mahindi, kuuza nini? Think about that. Kwa ndio maana tunakuja kujifunza hapa mimi na kuchallenge tu, na kuchallenge lakini kama unataka kufanikiwa lazima ujifunze jinsi ya kuanza kufanya biashara. Na uhitaji kuwa na pesa kuanza kuanzisha biashara. Kichwa chako tu watu ndio mtaji. You need to understand this. Kwa sababu mchala huu siku ukafa that's the end of it. Michael Jackson amekufa miaka mingi tu bado wanamweka kwenye listi ya matajiri kina Bob Marley na wengineo so you need to find a way uzuri ni kwamba tuko kali na 21 there are so many ways we can do na kuweza kufanikiwa Bill Gates anasema haijawahi kutokea kwamba kwa miaka hamsini ijayo na kuambia biashara zitabadilika kadri inavyoweza kubadilika na watu watakuepo wengi wa tofauti wakati Bill Gates anaanza kufanya shughuli zake kulikuwa na matajiri wengine duniani lakini aliwapiga bao within short of time. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu vitakuja vingi ambavyo mimi na wewe hatuvijui leo. Na vinasubiriwa kuwa invented na watu ambao wajazaliwa. Think about that. Kwa naomba uone hiyo kwamba the world is changing. Swala ni sisi tuko tumekoma rakoma tulikuwa na afya ya mwenge, sio ametulisha matango poli. Umekula matango poli? Kwa cha msingi hapa tafuta njia ya kuweza kuanza kufanya biashara za kisasa uwe na kitu kina ku drive na wewe umedetermine kwamba kweli you want to help other people it's not about product pata kitu ki ku drive unaweza usiwe na product lakini una model fulani ambayo uko nayo mwisho wa siku kuna kijana hapa amemaliza huko Marekani anaitwa nani Fernando whatever the boy is doing very very well ni swala tu la wakati kwa hiyo Bill Gates anasema tunategemea wa viongozi wa dunia hii wanaokuja wataweza kuwasaidia wenzao kufanya wao wazuri zaidi ku empower others sasa ni kitu gani ufanye ambacho kina empower others kwa ndio na challenge hapa na challenge ziko njia ziko biashara ambazo you can check uka take nazo zikawapeleka watu wengine mbali sasa wengine tuliaona muda mrefu hayo thank god mimi na biashara hapa Tanova kwa mwezi ni kama milioni ngapi? Milioni sasa hivi zinaenda 400 500 kwa mwezi. Sina ofisi, sina mfanyakazi, sina bidhaa nauza, sina mtu wa kunibia. Hebu watafute watu wenye biashara zao, waulize mauzo yao wanafikisha milioni 700 kwa mwezi na una ofisi. Think about that. Kwa hiyo you can really understand. Kwa hiyo whether niko siko biashara inaendelea yenyewe. So that's the difference. So kama unaanzisha biashara don't do it for money. Swala ni kutaka kusaidia watu maisha yao yabadilike. You have to understand this. Kwa naomba nirudie tena. Naomba nirudie tena you have to renew your mind. Ni ambao ni wa Kristo imeandika kwenye Biblia pia. Kasome Romans 12 uh, verse 2. Imeandikwa you have to renew your mind. Uingize vitu vipya kama ni uwe na business mind. Ili uweze kujua kwamba kweli biashara inafanywaje kazi and then no matter what happen mambo yakaenda kwenda. 
kwa mnahitaji software. Huyu ni hilo ni mask. Kasomeni historia yake. Is software ya mpya zimemsaidia. Hivyo vitu anavyofanya hakuvisomea. But what is he doing now? Ana gari zinatembea huko azitumie mafuta. Chapeleka watu huko si huko sola huko kwenye 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 mwezi huko ana explore the world. Okay? Ana kampuni inatengeneza hizi nini? Ah uh, sola. Think about that. Anatengeneza na dig matano sasa baada ya kupita barabarani ana dig tano under the ground. Kwa anasaidia 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 anasaidia. Cha msingi tu hapa ukishajua ni kitu gani Mungu kakupa na ukabadilika kweli 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 there is no way you can go back on your old ways. Mimi huyu Alfonso Tlato nenda nikatafute kazi. Hebu niambie mimi Tanzania hii sijawahi kuomba kazi aina yoyote. Mimi niliajiriwa nikiwa fresh from school. Uliitwa tutwende huko. I have never never kwa Tanzania hii kwenda kuomba kazi hata siku moja na sitegemei. So you need to understand kwa sababu once ukisha expand you won't go back. Kwa cha msingi hapa wewe unayenisikiliza hapa we have people who can help you. Tuko ruwa kuweza kukusaidia ukitaka. Do you have any dream ambao unataka kuiachieve? Do you believe in the power of people? Wa Tanzania tuko takriban milioni 60 sasa. Dunia ina watu bilioni 7 plus. How can you combat those people kuna nao kwenye social media? Wewe ni mtaji. Ndio maana tunasaidiana hapa. Kwa ukitaka we can help you. Cha msingi umechoka na maisha uko nayo. Are you sick and tired of the kind of life you are having? Think about that. Unaamka kesho asubuhi unaenda kutumika kwa watu. Mungu hajakuumba wewe ufanane na kila mtu. Angetufuatwa kwenye kibao basi. You are unique. Unafanana na ndege anaitwa ego, anaitwa tai. Egos never fly with pigeons. Hawaluki pamoja na na nini mnaita hawa? Uh, pigeon ni kwa Kiswahili sio kwa Kiswahili chake. Mimi ni njiwa. Eh, hawaluki pamoja na njiwa. Wanaruka peke yao na ndivyo Mungu alivyotengeneza wewe. Kwa hamna kitakachobadilika unless kichwa ni kwako kumebadilika. That's the reality. Kama wewe ndio yule yule umekomana geti koma tu. Mwisho wa siku tutakupeleka kinondoni makablini na ukafa kwenye umaskini unaenda motoni. You need to understand this. Mungu hajakuumba upumue tu uondoke. Mungu anataka ufanye vitu vya tofauti uguse watu. That's what God wants you. Hivyo mnasahau kwamba tumeomba kwa mfano Mwenyezi Mungu. Anataka tufanye maajabu ya duniani hapa. So we can make this world a better place. Ebu tujikite kuwasaidia watu maisha yao yabadilike. That's what I'm doing hapa. Najaribu kufanya anavyoweza. Eh, ni platform Mungu amenipa. This is my channel. Sitaji kumiliki ITV, but have this. Kwa na kuombeni sana nyinyi ambao mnasikiliza. Kama kweli you, you need to have a new mind, make sure unabadilisha maneno unayojisemea kila siku. Kila siku useme kwamba you like yourself, huko unapendeza, unataka kufanikiwa. There should be your language. Hapo tunaweka your new software usiseme hey, it is expensive I can't afford futa hizo futa hizo sema tu haiko kwenye budget yangu au nitanunua mwakani that's the kind of things you need to understand na si hivyo pia ni vizuri ukaweza kujua ni kitu gani unataka sasa kama ni akili ya biashara naomba uamue ni vitabu gani unataka una, kufeed your business ule uvile unavyoweza kuvira kama sponge nataka uwe kama sponge sasa uzuri tuna vitabu chungu nzima you don't even to buy them unaweza kuvisoma bure tu so once you decide unataka akili ya namna gani kaa mbali na watu wote ambao ni negative awe ni mzazi awe si ni nani kaa nao mbali knowledge is power if you use it so swala tu unanyonya 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 hiyo unakuwa na confused knowledge so unasikia watu wana phd huko na nini maisha yao ya coach they are begging 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 so you need to learn and apply whatever you have Do you understand Mungu anabariki unapofanya una action when you take action this where things comes na knowledge is money nowadays sasa ukitumia tena faster so make sure una watu ambao wanakusaidia kwenda mbele who is your role model anakuta mama yangu ndio role model how success with your mother hebu niambie how success with your mother go watafute watu your success iko katika watu wewe kukutana nao iko katika vitu wewe kufanya you need to understand this So find a way ya ku support. Ni sawa na mtoto tunavyomzaa, tunamsimamisha, tunamshika kidogo 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 kidogo. That's how it is. Hata mentor, hata coach. Sasa biashara gani itakupa mentor na coach? Biashara nyingi mazoezi za mtaani watu wanashindana. So we have a better way. We have a better way. Tutakusaidia ukitaka hapa. Swala unazo dream? Usiniambie, sasa ndio biashara gani hiyo? Nakuuliza do you have any dream? Tukusaidie ufanikiwe. 
badala kuomba omba kuomba omba hapa anyway cha msingi hapa once you decide that you need to jump out of your comfort zone you have to do extra binafsi hapa baada ya kuona ile ndege imedondoka juzi hapa mimi nimejitajitesa kidogo nimeongeza saa nzima ya kuamka asubuhi baada ya kuamka saa 10 na amka saa 9 naitumia hiyo 1 hour kusoma for them do you understand najitesa hapo mwisho wa siku nataka tulivu fully na die empty that's what i want kwa cha msingi tu hapo naomba uelewe when you get out of your comfort zone ni vizuri pia ukajua kwamba kuna vitu itachukua process it's not a matter of your speed cha msingi naomba ubadilishe lugha sasa badala ya kutumia i'm failing sema i'm learning i'm learning hamna kufail you are learning you are learning you are learning you need to understand that kwa cha msingi sio hapa usitafute approval ya mtu yoyote don't look for approval ya mtu yoyote wengi eh eti ngoja nikamuulize professor wangu ngoja nikamuulize mzazi wangu na ndo wengi mko vile Mungu Mungu kakutengeneza wewe peke yako don't waste time ya kuomba approval ya mtu yoyote priority zao is not your priority kwa naomba uelewe hiyo kwa once you sac- ukichezea hiyo hapo uta sacrifice your own potential for growth Naomba usitafute approval ya mtu yoyote hawakujua hata wazazi wako hawakujua ulivyokuwa unatoka ungechukua ukaficho ukarudishwa leo hata wasinge kutambua kwa hiyo bwana anaitwa Steve Jobs ni marehemu sasa lakini amefanya wonders hapo anavyozungumza na, na nyinyi natumia kompyuta yake natumia hapo hapo MacBook na MacBook hapa anasema if you want to make everyone happy don't be a leader kauza ice cream we nyinyi mnataka kuwa please watu najua what mtoto wa kike si mtu gani si mtu gani stop that stop that that's a loser's language naomba uwe wewe uwe wewe usimame 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 kwa hiyo naomba u value process over the end result usiangalie utapata shilingi ngapi cha msingi the person you become katika hiyo process nzima what matters na ndo maana ni from the beginning nimesema ukishakuwa na mind ya sawa hivi vitu vingine vyote hata kusumbua okay you need to understand that once you have set up your mind vizuri hivyo vitu vingine vyote vitakuja so you need to mind is the process that's your the results watu wanakuwa watu wanakuwa moved in na hela yale okay? kuna hela Eh yes, si wapi benki kuku kuna, kuna hela don't move by hela okay so please na kuombeni sana 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 nyie mnaonisikiliza hapa mbadilike mbadilike in the sense kwamba there is a way there is a way unaweza ukabadilisha maisha yako so you have to think big naomba you have to think big 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 usiwaze vitu vidogo vidogo wadha vitu vikubwa that's what god mungu hana nafasi na watu wanaweza vitu vidogo vidogo You understand that? Kwa you have to be aware kwamba our time ya kukaa duniani hapa iko very limited. Muda wako wa kuishi duniani uko very limited, usipoteze muda kuishi muda wa mtu mwingine. Eh watatengeneza standard gauges, watatengeneza it fine, but that's not your life. Kwa cha msingi tu hapa ninachokuomba uwalau kufanya mistakes. Mistake is part of the process. Mtu aliitwa Thomas Edison mpaka barabu inawaka amejaribu mara 1000. So learning fast is not the same as learning well. Jifunze kufanya mister. Namaliza hivyo, namaliza hapo. Kwamba there is a better way ya kuweza kufanya maisha yako kibadilike. Ta msingi tu tafuta njia ambayo utaitumia kuweza kusaidia watu wengine maisha yao yabadilike. Kwa nini ambao ni wa Kristo mnajua kabisa Yesu hakuwa na nyumba hakuwa na nini ye alichokuwa nakifanya alikuja kusaidia watu wajitambue na kuweza kumcha Mungu inavyotakana na alichofanya aliinvest kwa watu 12 tu alafu wakiso wako wangapi so find a way how you can invest in people sasa ni biashara gani ufanya ambayo una invest kwa watu there is a business ambayo unaweza kuifanya ambayo is a win win situation basi si wengine nashukuru Mungu kwamba i've been doing it for almost 14 years now helping people na ndo maana niko kwenye kipindi hapa kujaribu kukusaidia cha msingi tu unayo dream ndicho unachokuuliza hapa kwa sababu mwisho wa siku tutaondoka what, what kind of legacy do you want to live in this world tutakukumbuka kwa lipi tutakukumbuka kwa lipi think about that kwa you can embrace team marketing 
team marketing can really help you ujifunze upate hizo skills za kutosha mwisho wa siku utaweza kununua hizo nyumba za kina JZ cha msingi tu can you spare 5 to 10 years into it na ukajifunza afu uone ambapo maisha yako yatabadilika because the swala ni wewe hapo mimi i'm not here to convince you for anything i'm just here to open up kufungua uweze kuelewa kwamba kumbe kuna maisha hii kutumia simu ya torch kula kula mlo mmoja kwa siku kwa sababu umependa au ndo kwa sababu you can afford think about that kwa hiyo mimi na kuchallenge na kuchallenge mwenzangu mimi unanisikiliza hapa there is a better way you can really change your life na mshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba niweza kuyaona mapema nikaweza kuacha kazi zangu TRA huko si nikaenda Marekani huko nikarudi na vitu kama hivyo thank god i can assure you you can only connect the dots when you look backwards Okay nikiangalia nyuma naona kabisa kumbe Mungu aliniumba kwa kitu specifically na njia zote ni I have nothing to regret it's a learning kuna wewe na kuchallenge na kuchallenge kwamba there is a better future ahead of us so la tuni nini are you really serious unataka kitu hapa kwa cha msingi hapa tafadhali sana kuna watu wako tayari wakuwe wafanye wanavyoweza kufanya ili mambo yako yasiende wapo kama walimbeza Mungu wakambeza Yesu wakambeza Mtume Muhammad watakubeza wewe cha msingi hapa how badly do you want success naomba uelewe hiyo mind your own business mind your own business tafuta dream yako go for it kama huna njia ya kupita we have a better way that we can really help you to go through kwa mimi nitaka tukiozungumza hiyo kwa muda mfupi huu ili muweze kuona ambavyo kweli we need a new mindset. Uingize so, usome vitabu, uji associate na watu ambao they can take you further. Ni ambao mko single, usiwe na mtu ambaye add value yoyote kwako. Don't waste time. Eh unajua huyo boyfriend tunatoka naye mbali. Eh unajua. No 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 no. Kama add chochote aende zake, akawa tafute wenzake. So you need to find a way how you can really change your life. Kwa mimi nitaka tu niishi hapo maybe kama bado mnayo nafasi hapa tuna dakika kama 13 hivi so i can allow you guys to, to, to kama umejifunza chochote fine kama umechanganyikiwa hiyo ni wewe essence ya hii ilikuwa ni kukusaidia wewe kuweza kuona kwamba kweli you need a new mind for your success wengine ndio hiyo imetusaidia na ndio ndio kusaidia kama akina Bill Gates wanasoma akina Warren Buffett wanasoma why not you why not you Tunayo nafasi kubwa sana. Hii country is a virgin na I can see a very very bright future for, for our country, for our continent in Africa na kwa dunia nzima. Hiyo Tanzania ya viwanda mnaoizungumza itakuwa ni nyimbo kama tutakuwa na new mindset. Vijana wetu vyote mlivyovisoma hata kazi zikija za viwanda muajiri uko kote. Unajua wewe na, na GPA shilingi ngapi? Najua kuandika kujumlisha na kutoa debit credit computer zinafanya vitu vyote hiko. So you guys this is Alphonse Chilato na wapendeni sana 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 ni kazi kubadilika ni kazi kuwa the kind of person you want to be it's not easy i can assure you it's not easy na ndo maana walofanikiwa ni wachache duniani dunia hii ukihesabu kote almost 10% ndio wamefanyikiwa the rest ni vibarua vya watu wao walizaliwa follower walizaliwa kuwa leader so it's your choice kwa mimi nitaka tuniishie hapo na nirudi kwenu sasa If there is anything umejifunza fine if there is anything you can add fine kama hamna chochote pia cha kuchangia fine hamna tofauti ukienda makabulini kinondoni kule watu wamelala kimya wanaweza kwa kuna wengine umo ameshakufa sema tu hawajatangaza kwamba you are dead kwa hiyo kwa wale ambao bado mnapumua mnayo nafasi ya kusema chochote if you have got something from what I've shared with you guys kwa mimi niwashukuru na sasa narudi kwenu okay Naomba nipate mkono hapo anaitaka kuzungumza nafasi kwenu. Kama hamna basi mimi nitahesabu dakika ngapi hapa nitamaliza kipindi. Nakuacheni muende huko lakini message imefika Mungu amekusikia na kama utaenda kufa maskini unaenda motoni point blank. Hamna si umefunga kwa lazima, si nimekuja kufunga Ramadhani, Mungu hajakuumba uje upumue pumue tu hapo uondoke. Amekuumba uje utumike. Utumike ufanye vitu vinavyosaidia watu. Sio vinavyosaidia ndugu yako na kusaidia society when you give you get the power okay uweze kupokea bila kutoa kwa tutafute njia ya kusaidia watu whoever anataka kubadilisha kumsaidie kwa hao walio kualikeni kwa ninyi ni wageni walitaka uje ujifunze uone umuhimu wa kubadilisha maisha yako lakini inaanza kichwani kwanza inaanza kichwani 
the rest inakuwa ni history na kusubiri ni mnyanyue mkono mzungumze sasa sioni mkono hapa sasa kama amna mkono as i said we still have time hapo you guys nakupeni nafasi hiyo nakupeni nafasi naona kuna mtu sui maka huyu amerezi mkono bwana maka uko hewani naomba uzungumze mr maka Hi guys, um, I'm very much excited to be here. My name is Joseph Moy from Kenya, and um, uh, now I'm training, and uh, and I'm looking forward to. Connect. I feel very much, uh, very much privileged to be here. So thank you so much, Mr. Kirato, for teaching us about this, and uh, this is my second. training of recent we went at Abidjan or something thank you so much have a great evening okay that is mr maka from nairobi kenya you are very very welcome okay a uh, mwingine ambaye ana chochote unaona mambo ya mtandao hayo eh wao tuko tanzania hapa watu wako kenya na bado wanatusikia mwingine ambaye ana chochote a uh, a uh, Mwingine ambaye ana chochote can you raise up your hand please nikupeni nafasi mzungumze kama una chochote cha kusema unayo nafasi ya ku raise up your hand uh, sasa sioni mkono hapa kuna mtu ametuma message yanasema uh, asante na shukrani nimejifunza kitu na kuongeza kujiamini okay that's good uh, mwingine ambaye ana chochote cha kusema sasa mtu yuko Nairobi konya anazungumza nyewe wa Tanzania hapa mmelala usingizi tu. Tanzania bwana. Haya. Huyu ni haya ngoe nianze kwa ladies. Zula Mustafa uko hewani. Karimu usubiria na mmemruhusu dada kwa. Okay, asante. Na asante kwa kipindi kizuri nimejifunza. Um hapo ulikuwa una share stories za watu itanikumbusha kitu kuhusu sisi. Sisi wa vijana tunataka sana kufanikiwa, yani unataka ufanikiwe kama jana, yani wewe ushafanikiwa. Umeanza kitu jana leo umefanikiwa. But then ni ulikuwa una share story, nikapata kumbukumbu ya kitabu ninachokisoma kwamba kumbe huyu jamaa mwenye Honda kuanza kwa kutengeneza gari, alianza kwa kutengeneza vitu vingine kama spare parts kwa Toyota ambazo walizi reject. Inabidi aji reinvent it took him more than 10 years kubadilika badilika mpaka yani kukosa raw materials lakini still ame persist na mpaka leo tunatumia hizo gari na pikipiki za Honda na they are one of the best so hii kitu ulikuwa una share hapa story ya JZ and i remember nishawahi kuona documentary yake nimepata kwamba kitu kikubwa sana ni sisi kungangania kitu tunachokifanya ni mradi tunakiamini kitu tunachokifanya tukishikilie na uendelee kukifanya so thank you so much na niliona mkono wa Karimu. Karimu naona umepotea. Mwingine ambaye ana chochote cha kuzungumza. Thank you for sharing Zula. Thank you for sharing Mr. Maka. niliona Karimu hapa. Karimu Kasimu uko hewani. Karimu Kasimu huko hewani. Naam habari za jioni na shukuru kwa kipindi kizuri. Yes, na wasikia. Na nashukuru kwa kipindi kizuri tumejifunza vitu vingi. Na kingine ambacho cha kujifunza hasa kwa sisi vijana ambao tuko Tanzania hii tunaweza tukafanya chochote tukiwa hapa hapa Tanzania. So lazima uende nje huko ndo mambo yakabadilike. Sasa shida yetu kubwa tunategemea sana vitu ambavyo tulivyovisoma huko shuleni. Hasa mtu tunangania sana Viet. Yaani hatuangali kingine chochote ni Viet unakukuta miaka mitatu mpaka minne nazungusha CV mtaani mwisho siku fursa zinakuja zinaondoka. Kwa hiyo mwisho siku watu wanakuwa na maisha mengine tofauti huku tukiwa tunawaza Viet vyangu na tukiwa nalia. Kumbe tunaweza tukajifunza vitu vipya na tukafanikiwa tu bila hata kuwa na Viet yetu. Asante sana shukuru. Karimu yuko Dodoma. Ah mwingine ambaye ana chochote cha kuchangia. Kwa dada mmeona Beyonce anamnulia mmewe Bugatti dola milioni mbili. Eh, two years later anamnunulia jet eh, dola milioni 40. Sasa boyfriend anakunulia simu siku mbili tu anakunyang'anya. 
tumeanyua ya Tochi, si Galaxy, si gani ya mchina, Tekno. Hawa dada mnalia. Anyway, kwa hiyo mimi kama hamna mwingine wa kuchangia kuna dakika tano bado. Kwa hiyo anesi kuna mtu anataka kuzungumza. Otherwise mimi ni ni washukuru wote mlochangia. Ni washukuru ninyi ambao ni wageni wetu mnahudhuria kwenye kipindi. Uh, kwa hiyo ni ukubali ku renew your mind, bali ku renew your mind na uweze kuona ambavyo maisha yako yanaweza kubadilika unahitaji watu wa kukuguide you need somebody who can mentor you who can coach you viko vipindi vingi tunafanya hizo online kuna physical tunafanya kwa kama uko Dar es Salaam usikose tuna kipindi tunafanya next tuesday saa 3 asubuhi pale Tani house tunakiita mindset transformation okay so tunakukaribisha uje ujifunze wasikilize wenzako uone ambavyo you can really get value of what you have inside of you. Kwa hiyo mimi ni washukuru wote mlo shiriki na naomba niwatakie usiku mwema.